True conspiracies, the Lord told me, true conspiracies must be exposed. True conspiracies. Somebody say true conspiracies. True conspiracies. There's a lot of false conspiracies out there. On April 24th, 2020, I prophesied a strong word about China hiding information that if it was not revealed within 30 days, it would ripple through the next 30 years. And I did not know what it meant at the time. And man, I mean, I tell you, I had every Google alert on the word China. I was every Google alert on because I was looking at search of the news every day, trying to, I was praying without ceasing. I had intercessors praying. And I firmly believe now that it has to do with not just the coronavirus, with other viruses, bioweapons that are going to emerge. Listen, we need to shut this stuff down. We need to shut it down. We have authority. If God didn't send it and he did not, I said, God did not send the plague. Amen. We're not, we're not Egyptians and we're, we are covenant people. If God did not send it, we have authority over it. The Bible says we are to bind or forbid on earth what is already forbidden in heaven. Is there a plague in heaven? Is there an economic crisis in heaven? Inflation in heaven? Violence in heaven? then we have the authority to bind it and to forbid it. And I know I'm singing to the choir over here, talking to the choir, because you already believe it. But hopefully somebody stumbles on, you know, I'm going to get hate mail over this, but that's all right. I always get especially bold on New Year's Eve because you need to wake up. Everybody needs to wake up. We all need to wake up. So while many are still holding fast to QAnon conspiracies, 9-11 conspiracies, Elvis conspiracies... Fake moon landings. Who killed JFK? The queen killed Princess Di. All these conspiracies were coming into a time where nefarious conspiracies will rapidly impact nations if they are not if they're not exposed. In other words, we need to pray for the exposure of true conspiracies. Amen. I heard the Lord say this. Conspiracies that rival the most intricate Hollywood plots are brewing among demon powers and will manifest through politicians and play actors. Those who go on a witch hunt seeking out conspiracies will find false flags and distractions. But see, we're not supposed to go seeking conspiracies. We're supposed to let the Lord show us what is going on. We're supposed to be people of prayer. We're not supposed to go on a witch hunt. We're supposed to be people of prayer. He says, those who go on a witch hunt seeking out conspiracies will find false flags and distractions. But those who press into my spirit will find discernment that leads them to the truth and out of the snare. And the Lord says, don't get caught up in the hype as many who point to conspiracies are ignorant of what is really happening on a broader scale in the bigger picture. The Lord says, don't have knee jerk reactions based on what you read in the media, but respond based on what you discern by my spirit. And the Lord says, not everything labeled conspiracy is conspiracy, but many conspiracies go undetected while the enemy distracts people with the obvious. And the Lord says, go deeper, pray stronger, war longer, and you will find the enemy's plans exposed and overturned. Even still, some things must be, but even those conspiracies that play out unhindered can be discerned, and you can prepare people to respond to my plans and purposes and strategies for provision and safety.